Hey guys, Evdo here, and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my honest opinion of update 1.17, part 1 of the Caves and Cliffs update. I'll be discussing my favourite new features, as well as which changes and new additions I'm not so keen on. Given this video is solely going to be my own personal opinion, do not take too much offence if my opinion differs from your own. I'd be happy to discuss differing opinions in the comments, but do ask that you be respectful of other people's opinions in the comment section. Not just my own, but those of other viewers as well. With that in mind, I want to start by talking about my number one problem with the update, the name. I know I'm not the only one who has an issue with the update being called the Caves and Cliffs update, when it does not add any new caves or cliffs. Granted, lush caves are accessible through a customised world on Java, but they have not been integrated into the standard world generation, which clearly they could have been. I understand the new cave generation changes were proving problematic for the team at Mojang, as were the new mountain biomes, given the necessity to change the fundamental generation of a Minecraft world. As the y-axis was being extended by 128 blocks, that was, for anyone who didn't already know, the reason the cave update was split in two in the first place, and why we now have to wait until December for part two. However, the Lush Caves biome does not necessarily require these changes, as it works perfectly fine with the current cave generation. So why this couldn't have been added into the main world generation, I do not know. If for whatever reason Mojang really wanted to wait until 1.18 to integrate the Lush Caves properly, then surely the name needed changing. For me a simple solution would have been to rename part 1 of the update the 1.17 Copper Update, and leave part 2 as the 1.18 Caves and Cliffs Update. I appreciate this may have required a little bit of rebranding from Mojang, but naming the update after a feature that has actually been added, surely had to be a priority. Copper is the first overworld ore added since Emerald in the 1.3 Emerald update back in 2012, so would have been a noteworthy feature to name the update after. The reason I think the current name is such a mistake is that not everyone keeps up to date with the snapshots or Minecraft news. Many people's first introduction to a new update is when it is fully released. So for a lot of people, their first interaction with the update will likely have been excitedly searching for the caves and cliffs before slowly coming to the realisation the update's flagship features were missing. An issue that could have been easily avoided with a simple name change. As for the features that were actually added, there's actually very little I dislike. I really like all the new mobs that have been added especially the goats and the axolotl, and the new copper ore is a great addition, providing more to look for when mining, and can be made into many different useful blocks and items. The changes made to mine shafts are also good, and the new amethyst geodes are a welcome addition, though I do think they should be a little bit rarer to make finding one more special. Another new addition I absolutely love is the new percentage sleeping command, which allows you to sleep through the night when only one person is in a bed or multiplayer, a feature I'll be covering in a tutorial video shortly, so keep an eye on your subscription feed for that. One other feature I really like that I doubt many other people are too fussed about is the light block. These blocks are invisible light sources, which can only be obtained for a command. They are perfect for filming on YouTube as they allow me to brighten up an area on screen, without needing to place lots of torches off camera. One feature I was disappointed didn't make it into the update is bundles. These seem like a great idea, as they allow players to pack more items into their already full inventory. Yet Mojang seemed dissatisfied with the item, and has made them inaccessible in survival until 1.18. With so many other great features like the Warden, mountains and the new caves all being pushed back to December, it would have been nice if we'd at least gotten this one extra feature in 
One change the update has made that I also want to address is the change made to the appearance of ores. I realise for a lot of people, changing something that has been in the game for so long is always going to be disappointing, as there is a nice sense of nostalgia about the classic look of ores. And while I myself will miss the old look, I can at least accept that the change has been made for a good reason, as the changes make it easier for colourblind players to differentiate between the ores, and that can only be a good thing if it makes the game more accessible to more players. That being said, I do think some of the new ore designs could look a little better. Overall then, I am happy with the majority of the features that actually have been added, but can't help but think the update as a whole would have been a lot more positively received had they simply changed the name. It's certainly nowhere near as good an update as others we've had more recently, such as the Never update or the Village and Pillage update, but it's not terrible either. There are still some good additions, and I'm sure once we have the second half, the Caves and Cliffs update as a whole will be a great update. Let me know your thoughts on the update in the comments below. If you'd like to learn about the new crafting recipes update 1.17 has added, be sure to watch my video on how to craft everything new in the update next. For more Minecraft videos like this one every Saturday, do consider subscribing and thanks for watching.